Hello. So, like, a week ago I made a video about, like, storage systems. And it did kind of well, so I thought I'd make a video on how to make them so you can use them. Like, when you want to use them. So, here's how you make them. Okay, so for the first one I'm going to show you how to make is this one, which is my original design. Five blocks tall and has a redstone torch, but no visible redstone components besides the button, which I think is pretty good. So, the first thing you're going to do is break a block right here so you can get your slanted rail. And then place a trapdoor, or you can also place a slab, but I just like to look at the trapdoor. Then you're going to want to break the block here, place glow light in, and then break this block again. Then you're going to want to place water here and here. Next, place a block above the glow light in, and go up three blocks. Then place a temporary block and a block over, and then you have a two block overhang. Then place an iron trapdoor right there. Now go to the back, and get a slanted power rail. Then place your dispenser right on top of the block with the hopper on top of it and then your redstone torch right here. Now to finish it up you're going to place your stone bind here and then load the dispenser and hopper with as many microns as you want. Just going to completely fill it and then there you go. Okay and now that you're done click the button and the dispenser will dispense the chest micron and it'll go onto the chapter and then when you want to place items in it you can. Then just click the button and a new one will be dispensed when you don't need to place blocks in it as it's fall. And then when you're ready to break it, you could just break it. And then the minecart will go... Well, normally when there's not blocks on the side, the minecart will go into the water stream. And then you can have it go into a storage system, which is kind of what I did over there. For the second design, it doesn't have to get some torch, but it does have twice the amount of hopper. And you're going to start off the same, breaking the block with a power drill and a slant with the trap door, break this block, put glow light in, then break the block below it, and then put water on those two spots. Then yeah, place two blocks this time above the glow light in with the dispenser facing up. Then have a temporary block so you can place on diagonally, and then place the block right next to it. Then make sure this is important, place it on the block above, not on the dispenser, because if it's on the dispenser, I'll place well, it'll power the ones next to it as well, not just the one you want. Then place two hoppers off to the side, and then one on top of the other. And then that way you can get your slanted power here. Yeah, now that you're done, go get your minecart, and then fill it up. And then you also want to place an iron trapdoor right there. Almost forgot to say that. Yeah, now that you're done, just click the button, and the hopper minecart will be dispensed. And yeah, same thing. When you're done with, or when you fill it up, you can just... Push the button and a new one will be dispensed. And now for the final one, it starts the exact same as every other one. Get your slanted power here with the trap door. Then take, take these two blocks with the glow lighting right there. And then bottle here and here. Then place three blocks above the glow lighting. And then have one facing this way. And then you can place a power drill on top of that. Then, this is kind of difficult. Place your dispenser and then have a hopper going into it. Then break the dispenser and then place it again. This way you have it facing the right way. Then place a stone button, your chap door, and then fill the dispenser. And now that that's done, you have all of the working storage designs. Okay, once again, thank you to Creative Katie for kind of making the new design of storage systems. But yeah, if you enjoyed the tutorial, please subscribe because that'd be great. But yeah, have a nice day.